Go to work, man. Go to work. Uh, I, I just met BJ. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, yo, you from Philly tomorrow? Yes. So that's one of my chefs. Okay. You didn't get him on camera. Don't worry about it. He don't need to be on camera. He's <laughs> one of the, one of the raw vegan chefs. And so as we constantly, where we just left, mm -hmm. keep pushing, you know, say vegetarian because they still sell salmon and they sell eggs. Okay. And, you know, because people don't realize it. So I said to her in that spot, she goes, this is salmon. I said, oh yeah, where'd you get it from? She goes, it's Alaskan salmon. I said, you mean somebody was ship fishing in Alaska and bought this salmon back here? She said, no, we bought it. I said, so it's like being an African-American. I'm an African American. Oh. I've never been to Africa, <laughs> so that salmon is a is an Alaskan salmon. It just ain't never been to Alaska, because <laughs> all food, all fish, usually is bought from a farm. So you got farm GMO fish Yo. from Alaska. Yeah. How could how could you get a fish from Alaska in 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 the hood right here? You you fast. Does it make sense? It's so fast. How that fish get all the way over here? Every, every, yeah, Brooklyn, I, I, Brooklyn. How fresh is dead? Every time I come here, I'm, I'm taking take stuff out of my diet every single time. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Here. Black yeah. folks love salmon. Yo, we yeah, just, I me and Coach, we guilty. Gave, just ate just salmon gave, yesterday. They just gave up catfish. Black folks just gave up catfish in the I, past five years because people been talking about it being a bottom feeder. Yeah. But think of how many years we ate. Right. right. But if you go to New Orleans, you gonna have oh, yeah. shrimp, you gonna have crawfish. And and I say to them, I said, you know, all those, there's a lot of black people were missing in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. What do you think yeah. happened to them? They got swept out to the ocean. What do you think they ate broke. them? Oh. Shrimp and lobster. Oh man. Guess come what on, they feed John. them back. You know they come back plump, extra <laughs> sweaty. Stop! <laughs> Yo, stop, bro. Yeah. With a yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the way he put stuff together. But I said that to somebody. I said, so I went and found out the auction. So this is what happened. The valet is going to put us right there in the go, place, right? They go fishing. Mm -hmm. They come back yeah, with this fish. Eat. They yeah. weigh the fish. Let's they show you on the biggest tank. They have one. Right they have yeah. fished the ocean okay. of all blue tuna. So the main thing is there's no blue chance. tuna Talk in the ocean. Guys. But when they find one, it's a thousand dollars a pound. Like so if you get a two hundred fifty dollar fish, it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars in Japan. We put it in the ice, put it on a private jet, fly it because it has to still be alive when they kill it. Okay. So, right. Who comes so, up with these? So if if sushi places are doing that yeah. with one fish, all right, right. How y'all gonna get Alaskan salmon? Like how do they how do they populate the ocean? We already talked about the ocean's polluted. Mm. They fish the ocean the of oil. fish. There's all, yeah, all kinds of things. They just stop talking about right. that. And how many, how do we buy Alaskan salmon from Alaska as simply wholesome in 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 Los Angeles? So somebody should have a lawsuit. Well, lawsuit? The government's doing it. You can't, how are you going to sue the people that, that, you, that you, 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 you pay taxes to? That's real. Like, you can have Alaskan salmon in New York and Puerto Rico. Mm. And Orlando, how? Well, nobody questions it until you put it together. And right, it's fish farm like uh, tilapia. That's not even yeah, a tilapia. real. That's totally a made-up yeah. fish. If I showed you the face of a salmon, you wouldn't eat it. They don't look like they used to because they're genetically modified. They're not even pink. Next, with John ruins everything. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Put that back over here. <laughs> Man. Oh, man. <laughs> I, it is, it, it's not even pink. They feed it. Oh, they man. feed it something and they dye it when they bring it out. It's a gray fish. Alright, so we're not supposed to substitute. Substitute? Oh. Because come on man, I gotta eat something. I, yeah, I, 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 gotta I, eat something. You already got me. I'm feeling good, to be honest with you. I can't lie about that. I'm feeling good with your new your, your life. So okay, so this is the best thing I, this yeah. is how we get in the in the in the understanding. So, Coach believes in one breath. Do you believe in one breath for all things breathing or just humans? Oh. 
Yo, you know, like you are BK's finest, man. Everybody <laughs> deserves a breath, right? So, so the is, difference between a pig and a dog is one is called a dog and one is called a pig. So here's, here's what he's saying here. This is what he's saying. I'm going to read this to you so y'all can get this. I want you to get this because I understand. A global majority citizen are conscious human beings who, are, who accept responsibilities as beneficiaries and trustees by birth to protect the planet Earth, to defend the inalienable human being, individual and natural rights of all children, all species, for all time, to exist as we endeavor to lawfully exercise our common interests and characteristics indicative of the nature, qualities, and attributes of an evolving human being in the creation of sustainable living solutions that breathe life into each other through our internal one breath. So I don't say amen, I say all being. Because see, amen just means a couple of people or you're talking right. about a, uh, you're talking about a so, God called Aman. But I'm talking about all being. So this is the deal. I realize that I, in order for me to stay on the planet, nothing else has to die. It's, it's not taking the place. Mm. So the strongest animals, the rhinoceros, the mm. the the the, um, the ox, the giraffe, the elephant, the, elephant, the gorilla, mm -hmm. plant-based. Matter of fact, raw. That's right. That's exactly so if right. you want to be as strong as the ox, eat what the ox eats. Don't eat the ox. Oh, bars, bars. Yeah, the next time, <laughs> the next time we see Maestro, he's going to be 110 pounds. No, oh, Maestro, man. I promise, hey, I say hey. this to you. No, the food was banging today. What, the food the is best always, vegan food I've ever had in my life. Because it's real food. You haven't had food yet. You, know, oh. you, you remember when you saw The Matrix? It made me feel horrible. And he, and he oh, was eating, man. and he goes... He go, and he was always saying, he was breathing. He goes, do you think that's air you're breathing? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. He just unplugged us. He just unplugged right. us. Right, so you're totally at this point of thinking... This is what they changed. They used to give you food and you had to wait for it. You can now have grits in five minutes. Those are not grits. Took me 40 minutes to get my grits, right? My mother, 40, you, you gonna have, the grits will be finished in another 15 minutes. You teach him, man. You can't instant this, instant oatmeal, instant touch a button, whatever you're looking for. However you're looking for it. Don't get up and turn the channel. So you get to a point. You can even have marijuana delivered to your house. Mm. What? You can have ice cream delivered to your house. You don't have to go to the movie theater anymore. You get a big screen TV and you can get Fire Stick. You can get Netflix. You can get all these different things. So you never have to move. Everything is brought to you. Well, what it does is it makes you sit still. And it, and it makes you lazy. Right. It, it'll put you in a situation where you're too lazy to be. Okay, you gotta take the mic. Go ahead. He'll still pick us up in here. Yeah, we're inside now, too. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, it, this is the deal, too. People call it baby steps. I don't. I call it small hinges, because small hinges open big doors. So just those small steps. Will, and I call will, it measurable progress in reasonable time. Yeah. But just think about it when you the when teachers. you're eating a dead animal. The teachers, mm -hmm. remember that it's it's a dead animal. Mm. Don't think of it as chicken, beef, poultry, you fish. Don't even know what it is. Anyway. He laying it on thick. Yeah. Right. Half the time when you eat Chinese it, food, you don't even know if you're eating rabbit. And when they hurry up and they go, "Hey man, we gotta hurry up and get something to eat," so I went and got some fast food. Mm -hmm. You're eating um, half the time. It depends on where you're going. You're eating um, horse meat. Really? Come on, man. I thought it was... Yeah. Well, you know, horse meat is not, it doesn't even yeah. matter. Horse meat tastes it's just like the cow meat. Yeah, so don't be mad about... Right. Don't yeah. say that when I say you're eating cow meat. Oh, oh man. man. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you get all oh, excited man. about no. that. It's like, oh, okay. Man. Are you programmed? You're right. Yeah. We are programmed. Yeah. yeah. Well, look around you. Look, If you go in your neighborhood, just look around you. What's allowed to be in your neighborhood? Malcolm X said it in 1963. Was it 63? Yeah. What was that for? 1960, 63. He said, you go in a black neighborhood and see a Korean store. Yeah. You see an Italian store. You don't go in their neighborhood and see a black store. So you see, like we're saying, 
Uh, I'm not going to mention them because we might need them as sponsors. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we won't need them as sponsors. Uh, Taco Bell and Pizza Hut. The reason mm -hmm. they're connected is because they're owned by Tico, owned by the same company. So you think you're getting two different things. You're not. It's the same company selling you the same processed um, residue of an animal. So when you're eating some of the things you're getting, uh, like Altoids, man, I don't eat pork. Yes, you do. Yeah, chewing gum. Chewing gum, like you, you eat all pork animals. all the time. Because you can stay away from it. People still get cancer. You should figure out it's things they're not paying attention to. What you put on your skin, yep. what you drink, mm -hmm. how, what and kind of sugar's powder. inside of it, right? Does this affect like mood swings and anxiety? Yeah. All right, so yeah. the conversation yeah. that Brother Dick Gregory spoke about is they did a research on black people if there was any kind of fight in the house they wanted to see what they had for dinner red Come on. made them dead. red made them dead blue green dead. made them mellow right. blue made them depressed blue give them the blues yellow make them mellow yep. green make them mean exactly you know, all, of, all of the colors that so are just for everybody who likes jello it's mm -hmm. it's called gelatin and it's it's made from the hooves of pigs cows and horses yes it is Make sure you stay, you use every part of it. Every, from the rooter to the tutor. Oh, big money. And what do they do? They tell black people, man, y'all love fried chicken. They said it so much to make us really believe that we had to have fried chicken. We constantly told us, you love fried chicken, you love fried chicken, you love right. fried chicken. That's your stereotype. You have fried chicken. It made it look uh, bad, feel just bad. Just like I saw on TV, they said um, when they first came out with the saying for diamonds, they said it wasn't true. They just made it up. And everybody just said, this is the season to buy diamonds. Exactly. And, oh, wow. Wow. Those words that, words that created power. Words. Like you're telling me, man, they are spells. Yep. Spells. That's, what spell they call the spell it. That's what they call spelling. That's what they call spell. Because Only thing true are numbers. The numbers are. Exactly. One out of every two black kids before 14 would be pre-diabetic. Mm. Directly according to their diet. So their diet, I tell I tell people this to have children all the time. You come out, you have your baby, it's precious. Everybody's like, oh, people wash their hands. Mm -hmm. They treat it like, oh, welcome to the world. And soon as they feel that they no longer want to take care of that baby, they give it animal product. So if, and it's the first thing they do is they convince you that got milk or that you needed calcium. That's true. Mm -hmm. Listen to the words. You need calcium. You need B12, mm -hmm. you need protein. So they call meat protein. So if you're a bodybuilder, they go, yeah, you need some lean protein. In an interview, you were saying that broccoli? Yeah, genetic and modified. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Genetic modified? Yeah, okay. That's not right. Same thing with um, Come on, cauliflower. Yeah. It's yeah. made up. Yeah. So, so once I get you at this point and I say, you're going to give your kid milk. I'm sorry, you're going to give your kid bovine fluid, uh, <laughs> cow milk. So when you give your kid bovine fluid, when you, when a calf drinks bovine fluid. What is bovine? What is, what oh, is it's that? called milk. So if you had a female put her breast up, that's called breast milk Yeah. from a female. Yeah. That's no problem to drink that. Uh -huh. But to, if you want to drink milk from a cow, then that's for a calf. So that's for a calf to become 250 pounds. As soon as that calf oh, gets its weight, oh my god, it won't drink milk. But we hey, drink milk into dogs. our adult age. No, I don't drink and you drink somebody, another species. Bruh. Another yeah. species drink you drink. Like a, imagine the first guy who tasted milk. How did he get on his knees? And what was he thinking about sucking on the tit of a cow? Like how did he even know to do that? Even cows don't even do that. Proven fact: They always. But say you don't you naturally think of that. No, because they make you think yeah, it's good. From a baby. They show you Carl's Jr. and they show you, they show you all this other stuff that seems like it's good for you. They make you say, "Man, that's good eating." And every time they show TGI Fridays, Applebee's, Chili's, they show good-looking people mm. smiling and having fun. Mm. They do not show you the people who are in there. Obese, heart attack. They are not going to show you that guy. They're not going to show you that guy. They're not going to show you his wife slipped the, the coupon out. They ain't going to show you that. They ain't going to show you how, you know, they hurry up and they put things in front of you. 
Icy cold things freeze your liver. Sugar oh in it. Flavor. God. Everything to make you go, man, that was good. Yeah, we got some bags to take home. It's because you can't, your body won't let you finish that stuff. Mm, that's why you're Bruh. hungry. Like, yeah, how many, so yeah, your library is. Yeah, my library is huge. No, no. He, this, this, and this, even when I was there, I told you I had I tell you, I, I had to gradually Dude. go with some of the stuff that he's talking about. John, I you landed on thick, thick bro. Today. Yeah, 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 he had a headache like, until he ate today. I don't know if I'm hungry. I don't know what's right. going on. So I would have given you a banana. Or I would have given you... It's been hard to give you strawberries. Yeah, you talked about food. bananas on one of your interviews. Yeah. Because it's mostly water. If I give you if I give you blueberries, your headache would have disappeared in a second. My headache's going now. Yeah, because you had we had some sugar in the in the in the bread. So mm. inside the inside that bread is some sugar. Like I can't convince them to get rid of everything. So my stomach fat problem. Okay, so that's not your stomach. I ran that's your, all the your point to it. Point to it again. Stomach. Point to it again. That's oh. your intestines. Yeah. This is your stomach. Yeah, intestines. Your heart is right here. Okay. So, you're right. Um, you're right. You're, when you run, you stop your body from doing anything. Because uh -huh. your body has to stabilize all your organs jumping around. Mm -hmm. So, when you run, that's what's happening inside your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said 157, right? Coach? Um, so in order to get like that, we gotta hydrate you. It just means you're dehydrated. When you see a belly, it means you're dehydrated. Mm. So I can just increase my water. It, it, it increases one five seven. South or no? Yeah, I've so. already cut soda. Yeah, soda. I cut soda. Yeah. Oh, years ago, I cut. cut. He looked at me like. <laughs> when? I looked at him like. No, no, no. I cut it. Out. I cut it years ago. I cut it years ago. I, I <laughs> what cut you it. cut it with? <laughs> <laughs> I cut it out. I cut it out. You cut it with water, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, water, water, water. Yeah, I know what this time. Yo, had a bomb yo he's so fast with the comebacks. It's Brooklyn right here, yo. Brooklyn. What thing about Brooklyn? He's fast. Yeah. He will be. We will be snapping all day. I used to have the most fun snapping, and people used to take it personal. I go, dog, we we just joking. That's how we do it. Yeah, and man. hopefully you're thinking about it. Yeah, you've been killing right. me. <laughs> now let me tell you something, John. Everyone, he would. It was very difficult to snap on him when he was a kid, because you know what? <laughs> he used to snap on himself. Then then you can't and do he that. Just, just Take the power away. Yeah. We'd be cracking about him, crack, smacking on himself, and then. Then when you played a dozen with him, the kids used to, I'm like, yo, John got you done. <laughs> so, you know, so it's, it was so crazy. I said, man, that's that's the smartest thing John said. Let me tell you all the jokes about myself before yep. you even I, I died when I saw 8 Mile yep. and Eminem. I said, you pick, that's uh, how you do it. Yep. Yeah, you Take talk about your nose, away. talk about your eyes, talk about this. Right. Now everybody else is open. Mm -hmm. They open. You know what, another thing I've been noticing, black people have more and more Dogs as pets now. Cause, and they be letting people let the dogs lick them in the mouth and everything. You know? Yeah, I tell you, the world is changing. Yeah. The world is changing. You believe that the dog's that mouth is, is cleaner than I, the cleanest mouth. Of, that that, that is so not true. I'm like that breath is hot. I'm like, man. I like little dogs. <laughs> yeah, of course you like little dogs. Yeah, I was like, uh, do you have a little dog? Um, Jack Russell, my girl. That's part of the reason you have a belly. So you have a parasite inside because the. Uh, pets, uh, cats and dogs on the top of their head have two parasites that go in and literally start requesting different things from your system. So we would wow. clean. Is this you. a joke or you being no, serious? No, I, I thought I only you joke was funny for a second. Joke. No, well, I trust rewind me. Rewind that. All right. So when you have, you said South, right, Coach? Yeah. Gotta, Whoa. Kill your dog, man. It, no, you don't have to kill it. I just, won't be back here for y'all. Just rubbing the head and then then you do oh. things like this, like you play with the dog and then you go like this. Yeah. Now you put the parasite oh. on your mucous membrane, which yeah. slipped down, or you bite e, do in you there. hear this? Yeah, oh. of course she hears it. But you know, I'm not saying anything is wrong with him. Just you know, you it's know, so funny. It was a movie, Martin Lawrence. It was called uh, oh, Black Knight. Remember Black Knight? Yeah. He said, Skywalker, tell us of your culture. He said, first thing, you better get that dog out of the, away from the dinner table. Yeah. I laugh because that's the way you know everything had its place. We ain't like that no more. 